What's up, Nation? Today we're talking about something that I did not have on my 2024 bingo card, and that is none other than new N64 hardware that will run Nintendo 64 games 4K natively. And this is a very interesting idea that's quickly gaining a lot of traction online and interest online from various different media outlets and gamers alike. And if you're someone who owns or just was straight up a fan of Nintendo mini consoles, you may actually have had a N64 mini on your wish list of things that Nintendo would hopefully come out with one day. It doesn't seem like that's actually the path that they will be taking because of course they were in a really unique situation whenever they gave us the NES Mini first, then the SNES Mini, because of course they were in the middle of a failing generation, the Wii U generation, and they really had to get creative to drive additional revenue to their bottom line just to meet the bare minimum expectation of shareholders and company growth fiscal year over fiscal year. And fast forward to the Nintendo Switch era, which is a massive success, Nintendo decided to take that classic retro library of games that they own and turn it into a subscription service that, of course, in true Nintendo fashion, we don't know when we're going to be getting stuff like new N64 games. They literally have an N64 games roadmap out right now as part of Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack that's been available for over a year and they haven't completed the roadmap yet. That is Nintendo that we are talking about. But the company in question today is actually not Nintendo, but analog rather, as they are aiming to create this brand new 4K N64 device. And I do think that options like this are very nice to see in addition to having things like easily accessible N64 games on a subscription service tied to NSO. I think that that shouldn't go away, but we should have more options to play our classic beloved N64 games that we grew up with and play them in modern resolutions like 4K. And just what's being claimed for what this device will actually do online so far definitely has my interest peaked. And before we get on the same page with all the specifications and details that we will read through in a moment, if you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification. And with that, let's quickly hop over to VGC and read through their detailed typed up article together. Analog's next console will play Nintendo 64 games in 4K. The Analog 3D launches in 2024. Analog, the retro console manufacturer behind Analog Pocket, Super NT, and more, has announced that its next system will be a reimagining of the N64. Launching in 2024, the Analog 3D will play N64 games in 4K resolution. It will also support display modes with refresh quality recreations of specific model CRTs and PVMs. Like Analog's other retro consoles, it says the 3D's N64 support isn't emulation, rather it plays the games at a hardware level thanks to the fact it's powered by a field programmable gate array FPGA chip which behaves like the original console. The system will play legacy game cartridges via its cartridge slot. Analog calls it the first and only aftermarket solution supporting 100% compatibility SIC in every region, USA, EU, and Japan. The Analog 3D will feature wireless Bluetooth and 2.4G plus four original style controller ports. Pricing wasn't announced, but players who are interested in purchasing Analog 3D can register their interest here. Previous Analog consoles retail for between 200 and 250. So pricing absolutely will play a big factor on just how accessible this device is for everyone. It may launch around that 250 to even 300 price point, and there's also a lot of controversy with analog and their systems and the amount they produce to begin with, kind of creating urgency for you to go out and buy it day one, and of course supply and demand is a thing. Scalpers buy up these systems in truckloads and then they sell them online for double and triple the price, and you don't want to be in a scenario like that, but outside of the potential possibility that the launch is a mess and there's not enough of this console to go around, I do think it's actually a very promising device as far as what they are claiming this thing can do. The fact that you have original controller ports on this thing, but you also have the option to do Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection with whatever controllers you wanna do, that's great. I'm sure they will be including a new type of controller with the system as well. There's even a very dark image of a all black controller that you can barely make out the details of that they released and i'm assuming that's the controller that will come with the console but we're talking about being able to put in an n64 cartridge slot and have this thing read out a 4k image through hdmi i will be curious to see what it looks like hands-on once you can actually take a look at this thing in person but if nintendo is stopping the official mini console trend and i think they are in favor of nso 
so it is definitely cool to see other companies taking this task upon themselves and also really making it something that you can actually truly play your entire classic catalog of games if you're a physical game collector like i am it'd be very cool to have this thing sitting on your shelf and you could actually go to your n64 collection pick out any old cartridge that you want to play and you're playing it in a modern resolution with modern controls and some pretty cool customization options to boot from the sounds of things we don't know when in 2024 this thing might launch so it very well could be a little while before we hear about it again this was just teased as of yesterday online from analog and they could even target something like a holiday window 2024 so we might have to wait close to a year before we actually get our hands on this thing but if you do want to register your interest there is ways to do it online good luck getting through pre-orders and stuff like that once those do go live this definitely is a company that has some controversy attached to their name with things like that. And while I do love to see companies doing this, as I mentioned, I would also love to one day have Nintendo bring back that trend of releasing their classic consoles in a mini form factor. Maybe you wait a little bit longer to pad out the N64 library on NSO, but then once you've kind of added all of the games that you want to into that service, it would be pretty cool to have a $100 N64 mini that has all of the biggest games included in the retail packaging that you could go pick up as a good Christmas time present or something something to add into your collection. I don't necessarily think we'll see Nintendo continue with that, but I would love one day to have the entire NES through Nintendo Wii generation all as mini consoles sitting on a shelf. Imagine a GameCube mini. Now we're seriously talking about a potentially high price point on that one just for the value of GameCube games being added in there. But you see the point if Nintendo did try to slowly trickle out these mini console releases over the course of the future, I would definitely pick them all up. But that's where I really wanna hear from you guys, whether or not you're interested in this particular analog device that will run native 4k resolution for n64 game cartridges are you going to be registering your interest and are you like me and you would like to see nintendo make a return with mini consoles and do you think that that's actually a viable option for them or not now that we are in the world of nintendo switch online and everything being a subscription service instead of you ever really owning anything that's a big problem we're facing now and also if nintendo doesn't continue the mini console trend are you a fan of projects like this and would you like to see more consoles potentially running native game GameCube games and their discs one day and in a perfect world if you could choose any mini console that you would want to see come to market which generation would you personally pick because I know my pick and it's 100% GameCube but that's just me there's obviously plenty of incredible Nintendo generations to choose from so regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics Go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already, which is on screen right now. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.